Alright, everybody, welcome back to the Circle of Stones. I mean, Legend of Grimrock. Uh, and so here we can we can actually read the translations of the messages. Uh, welcome to the location of your first challenge. When you're ready, uh, stand in the circle and call out the guardians. Okay, well, we don't exactly know what that means, so... I think that's uh, something related to this key button thing, but we don't have a key for that, so now we have to go looking around. So, the game is just littered with puzzles, as, as you can kind of tell. Uh, honestly, it's overall like a really, really fun game for me. Uh, okay, so there's nothing over there. Alright, so let's go kill this turtle. I'm really bad at, like, accuracy. Alright, good. And we'll just give, uh, Pat more of these steaks. So I guess to see my... These two people, I can reorder them. I can put myself in the front if I really wanted to. But I don't want to do that because these are my two frontliners. One with light weapons, one with... Uh, sorry, one with heavy weapons, one with light weapons. One with throwing and guns, and then me with the magic. So that's, that's kind of the plan, uh, at least for... Well, my strategy with this game so far. You can play this any, any way you want. Uh, what's this? Scroll of Fire Burst. Okay, so this is how you learn magic. So you basically, this would teach me, oh, I'm like, oh, yeah, so I kind of learned that on my own. I guessed it, but that is something you can do. Um, and we can also go right through these. If there was a point. We, we missed him? Really? Wow, oh, we're just fucking awful. I'm just trying to see if there's something over here, because there's, there's a bush here, you know? Okay, whatever. Well, let's go see what the crystal's all about. The crystal says, uh, Touch to heal wounds and restore dead champions to life, but it needs time to recharge. So when I click it, the game... Yeah, the game just saves and that's it. I can also quick save at any point that I want to. Um, it, it just takes a second for it to save. But, uh, it's a good way of, uh... Getting everything going. Okay, I think we have one of our first puzzles here. Alright, so let's have a look. X marks the spot. Okay, I think we need to make an X here. Question is... Um... It doesn't really give us the materials we need to do that, do we? I mean, I think I have enough here. I'm, I'm just guessing I have to make an X here. I'll, I'll pick this all up later. Yeah, look at that! Look at that! We got it! That was uh, that was the puzzle, so... If you need to review tutorial hints, you can read them from pause. Okay. Ah! Oh, hello! <laughs> Great, you missed. Okay, we're just gonna kite this guy back, kinda. Alright. I, I, I unfortunately... Can I, can I just take some of this with me? Oh, I can. I can just take it back. That's fine. Okay. Go pick up our stuff again. Just because, uh... We, we kind of need that. Ken, Ken doesn't want to really fight, uh... Hand-to-hand -hand right now. He's not very good at that. But all we have to do is do it once so we can just pick up our stuff again. Oh, hello there. These are really weird creatures. Oh, he did a little, like, leap attack. He's really good at dodging. <laughs> Apparently I'm not so good at this. Ah, oh, you jerk. Now you can kind of see the first fatal flaw of my mage, which is... I've been casting a lot of spells. And he's, he's not particularly good at, um... Well, like, dealing with the fact that... Like, I can't use him right now, because it's just... Horrible. Ah. Uh, Pat, stop getting hit. Uh, let's just go over here for a sec. That was a really difficult combat there, but we got it. Ideally, I just want to have my mage just attack once, and I think that'll give him the experience, or maybe that doesn't really work that way, who knows. Oh, there's a door we can't do anything with. At least we have all our missile weapons back. Well, not, they're, not, they're not missile weapons, they're just throwing weapons. And I know, I see another one there. 
What do you want me to do? Oh, look, we got we got a hat. You can have the peasant's cat, hat, cat, uh, um, Jack. You call him Pat, but Pat Pat knows better. He doesn't get all these uh, weapons. So I can, by the way, I can rest to basically regenerate all that health, but it's not really necessary right now. Blood cap. Uh, okay. Let me just remove the UI there. I hate this guy. These guys are literally the worst. I got all I have. I'm, I'm just I'm just equipped with with sticks and stones here. Come on, man. Okay, I got all my stuff back. Now you can see there. Actually, my my mage got hit there. Yeah, the the AI is smarter now. Look at that. He actually he knows to to go back. I they've improved the AI since uh, the last game. So he he actually he's dodging on purpose, rather than by accident. And uh, you're about to ask, is the sun going down? And the answer is yes, yes it is. So this game seems to have some sort of day night cycle, um, which can work to our detriment. And there's a there's a falcon's fire here or whatever. I don't even know what that is. Actually, there's there's another alchemy ingredient here. I didn't even realize these stack though, so it's okay. Uh, that's not another stick there. I think there's a, another guy there. Unfortunately, when it becomes night, it's not fun times. The fun times only happen during the day, and now it's night. So, uh, we can light a, a torch. Oh, hello there. Um, I don't think I picked up any keys, so I can't come visit you right now. Wingate Terminus East. Oh. Well, there's a portal to somewhere. Uh, just kind of looking. Okay, we have never been here. Okay, another. What kind of weapon is this? Uh, I don't know. Because I can light him on fire. I, I don't think I should really do that. I, I like the noises Jack Witchell makes whenever he gets hit. Makes like a, just a little grunting noise. Well, it's really sad when Jack Witchell is like the most damaging person in her party. It makes me feel kind of depressed and I lose hope in humanity. Because that's not what Jack Witchell does. Wow, okay, so we, we still, we have a lot of food here, so we're pretty good on food actually. Um, but we didn't... Really, like, it's 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 good to basically, you know, keep a lot of this stuff around here. Oh, and we have a sack, and we can actually open it individually. We have a sling missile weapon. Uh, and it, and a fire stones. Nice. So, it's a... Uh, I'm guessing that's actually supposed to be a, um... We can keep the sack, by the way. There's no reason for us not to have it. I'm guessing we do something like that. Uh, that's the throwing weapon. So, the dart does 3 to 9 plus strength. Uh, let me actually look at- sorry, one second, let me go to actually put this in Can's inventory. Oh, uh, so that's how the missile- so, okay, so that's different then. And strength is apparently, um, dependent upon the okay, so maybe I should have given him more strength. I'm now slightly regretting that. Uh, it says mo damage with most melee weapons. I didn't really guess it was like a- a throwing stat, but whatever, who cares. Yeah, strength is a is completely a throwing thing. Then I should have given whoops, I should have given Can way more strength, but it's too late to change my mind on that now. Uh, I'd have to restart the whole game, but you know, keep that in mind for uh, if you're thinking about playing this yourself, which you totally should. All right, well, we have um, a chest in here. Oh yes, this is a puzzle. We can take our uh, scroll of fire burst, and we can just we can actually put things beyond the gate. We can't throw it, but we can just kind of. Chuck it like that. And we have our first, uh, weapon here. So throwing is a special attack with the dagger. Um... So, throws an item. Hold down attack button to use. I don't want to really throw things, but I'm gonna- I'm gonna make him- Well, I don't really need to make him dual wield anything either. I'll make him do it anyways, so... Will he attack with both? Yeah, he attacks with both, if I do that. The branch, so is not gonna give him an incredible amount of damage, so maybe we shouldn't do that. And we have our first healing potion. Nice. So we'll give that to the Witchel. And we also have a key here. Ordinate key. 
All right, so we can just go here and we can actually take our uh, scroll back. The scrolls I kind of keep around to use for the uh, weighing down buttons and things like that. But that's how I that's how I roll. All right, so uh, Witchel, go ahead, put the key in. This guy's an asshole. Really regretting not giving him more strength. Oh, nice. We're, we're doing way more damage now. I'm missing a rock somewhere. Okay. Let's not trap ourselves here. I'm not very good at combat. There we go. I, I melted him, didn't I? He's dead. Now, I could have sworn I had another rock somewhere. Maybe it's up here. Uh, uh I think that's it. Yeah, we got the other rock. All right. That dagger really is helping out, actually. It's doing it's doing work on these guys. Oh, we have a crate here. Uh, so this one has a shovel. Um. Okay. Can't dig here. All right. So there's I think there's dig spots now. Uh, we have some sea ba bass. A note. At the lone oak in the shadow of the blue light, I burrowed it. I think I know about the oak, what he's talking about. And we have a rapier, which is, um, requires light weapons one. And we have poison cloud, which requires, it's, it's an earth spell, so I'll give that to Mike Lott there. So he can use the, both these weapons now, so he can dual wield the dagger and the, the sword here. <laughs> See? So he uses both of them and he basically attacks. In the blue light... Uh, this is not really an oak, is it? Yeah. I think the oak was- was earlier over there. I think that maybe this is the oak? Oh, okay, and I can dig there. Oh, I kinda see how this works. But you, the thing is, you waste time when you do it. So you have to dig like right in front of you, and then you find nothing. Okay. So it's it's referring to a blue light, though. Uh, is this what maybe it's referring to? I don't know. We're trying to look for this oak or whatever. Yeah. Maybe it's over here, because th that's where I found it. Yeah, okay, we found nothing. All right, let's stop wasting our time here, because this is like... The, it requires food and stuff, so... Uh... We really don't want to be doing that. We can't- we can't just trial and error that. Actually, is there something over here? No. Alright, well, let's head back. So this is kind of, I guess, the, the t tutorial segment of this game. We're kind of trying to learn this stuff. Alright, so... The second most precious thing in life for a seafaring captain is his sword because without it he cannot command his crew. Thus upon losing his weapon somewhere in the ship at Speak um, Beach, uh, he lost what was most important to him, his respect of his crew. I have the sword though. I don't know, maybe it's, maybe we'll just dig here just because. Ah, oh, found nothing. Alright, well let's go back then. Unfortunately, I, I have not really come out any better for that. Uh, I didn't actually gain a whole lot out of that. Uh, and I'm mostly curious about... ...what that note says. In the, at the Lone Oak, the shadow of the blue light, I bur burrowed it. Oh, wait, that's the blue light. This is the shadow, so... Haha! -ha! There we go. I'm the best. No. I'm not really. <laughs> Alright, so we have another- we have another healing potion, we'll give this one to Pat. And this robe we will give to, I guess, the, it gives protection and vitality, so we'll, we'll give it to Witch over here. And then I guess now I get the- the protection now. And so now you can see the food is actually becoming kind of a problem. Oh, and also I leveled. Uh, so let's- let's level up something. So we get one skill point to use. Um, we could do poison. Because this is a poison cloud. We need earth magic, though. Um, or I could do, like, concentration, which will give me more ability to... Because I don't really have... Um, 
Uh, actually, I'd like to get that. I'd like to go up to concentration because energy rate, uh, regeneration rate increased by 25% while resting is more important than you would ever imagine. Uh, well, not that important, but I'd rather, I'd like to get it. Alright, so we got that. Uh, and now... We... We figured that out. Now we have a key here, and a door. So it wants us to unlock guardians or something, so... Uh... Well, we, we figured out the oak, the oak thing. That, you see, that was a really nice puzzle, actually. I really like that one. It says, when you're ready to... St stand in a circle and call it the guardians. The, that's the thing, I don't know how to call it the guardians. So... I don't know. I think, I think we should just start heading back. I, I mean, there's nothing else in here, so... I, li I really like that puzzle. And you know, I feel really smart because I did it. I actually figured out a puzzle. Alright, and there's nothing else here. Alright, well, we're gonna head back, actually, because I think... You know, there was a whole bunch of doors we did not open yet. Uh, so we should kind of figure that out. Oh, there's like a shipwreck here at some point. Alright, well, let's, let's figure this one out. So... Let's upon losing his weapon somewhere, he lost what was most important to him with respect to his crew, okay. Well, that doesn't do anything. Okay, so f as far as I can tell, let's see where this door goes. This door goes basically nowhere. Just trying to like hit stuff just because I'm curious. Or actually, wait. Ah! There you go. Interesting. You know, it, it had something to do with the sword, and now we're in a dungeon already. Halls of the Dead. Actually, can we go back and get that, or, um... Can we go back and get this? Oh, yeah, yeah, we can. Okay. There was one other place where I, I just, I have no idea... What was... Uh, we know we haven't explored there. I just, I, I, I'm very curious to know what, what's that, what that is. Cause that, that looks like a way forward, you know what I mean? So... There has to be something to do with that other thing. I, 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 cause I'm looking over here and there's like a place I didn't actually quite explore here. When I saw it on the map, alright. Just, I'm clicking everywhere just because I'm like, uh... Oh, uh, nothing, nothing, nothing really cries out to me as an obvious... ...way, uh, solution to this. Okay, we've already done the beach area. Come on, there's gotta be... There's gotta be something about... ...this, that I'm not aware of. So what what's up there? Nothing really. When you stand ready in the circle and call out the guardians. Let's just make sure I didn't miss like a key somewhere. Because there, there's supposed to be a key here. And we don't have it. Now, it it is possible that I'm supposed to go into that other place and grab a grab a key from there, like from that dungeon area. Uh, and that's tripping. Let's just throw a rock. Huh. Okay, so that's not the, that's not the solution here. Okay, I don't know what it is here. I'm not gonna waste my time here. Because it's not, it's not immediately evident. I think, I really think it has something to do with that door. So that's, that's what we're gonna go run into the assumption of. So, actually wait, there's um... Oh, there was throwing knives here, apparently. God damn it. It's all, they're all dependent upon strength. And he has like, the lowest strength ever. Look at that, six strength. Yeah, you know, maybe I shouldn't even make him do throwing weapons. I should maybe put him into like, missile weapons and just firearms and that's it. I think I might actually start, like, just respecting him. And also, Jack Witchell is hungry. Now, also, okay, I should mention when they when they have food, there's, um... When the bar turns yellow, there's no penalties, but they're starting to be hungry. And when it's red, they don't regain health and energy. So that's a problem. Alright, so we're gonna go here. We're gonna just make him eat. We can eat two. I'm, I'm kinda hungry, too. And, uh, of course, uh, canned is perfectly fine. This one is Halls of the Dead. 
Uh, that sounds like a very appetizing place. Now, we could also take up all the fucking uh, torches off the walls. So if you're a compulsive collector like I am, um, then that's what we're going to be doing this whole fucking time. So get ready for it. All right, well, there's um, dungeons. Oh, and we have uh, lock picks. Can we use that on our... Now, I, I should mention we are a group of prisoners uh, chained to ourselves, so... Uh, it does not stand a reason we can... I don't know. Can we unlock ourselves from each other and then we just kind of hang out? No, I don't know. This is why we're in a formation of four, by the way, because we're just, we're all chained to each other, so... I'm guessing not. Alright, well. And also that torch is running out, so... Bring a brand new one. Oh god, it's a mummy. Oh, that wasn't hard. Oh, and everyone gained levels. Alright, so, Jack, you'll be doing, um... Uh, I don't know. You can use heavy armor without penalties. Yeah, we're gonna make him do light armor, just because the minute I get light armor, I'll just give it to him. And then... Uh, cause then at fourth, you can, we can wear heavy armor, so he's gonna just be using armor the whole time. Pat will be, I think, going into crits and light weapons. Uh, at the third skill level, you can dual wield light weapons as long as one of them is a dagger. Oh, I see. So I'm not dual wielding. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna rush some light weapons for Pat here, and Canned uh, will be doing. I, I think I'm gonna respec him into missile weapons just because. Uh, He's, uh... Well, what else am I gonna make Oh shit, I didn't make him do alchemy. He's supposed to be doing alchemy, I didn't mean to make him do throwing, fuck. Okay, he's alchemy now. Ha! <laughs> That's where I kinda screwed up. I, I said I was gonna make him do alchemy, and I didn't do that. Whatever. Uh, it's okay, as I said, I was gonna re-, re Oh, god! Already! Alright, well guess what, you're- <laughs> You're using the firearms now. Look at that. Okay, now we have a flintlock pistol. Sweet. So I'm guessing that this am ammunition is not very, um, by the way, I don't really need to carry these boxes around, but, um, Jack's gonna be our slave, and he's gonna do that. So I meant to do firearms and alchemy with this guy, so that's actually what we're gonna, we're gonna stick to. That's what I really should have done. And it looks like, um, firearms do not get a bonus of any sort. I'm guessing that the, the high decks will help out with the, um, uh, just accuracy-based bonuses. Okay, you can use the leather boots, and Pat will have his own shoes now. And Cand is just naked for no reason. Kind of looking. Oh, that looks like a. That totally looks like a secret right here. Look at that. But that's not a secret. I'm just kind of looking at the walls because I'm. Uh, there, there are secrets in the walls. I kid you not. Is there something we can do with that? Oh, I just find that kind of odd that there's um. Oh. That's what I mean. Told you there was stuff. Oh, we can go up now. And now there's a turtle. Let's try a pistol. Cool. I shot a turtle in the butt. Oh wow, that pistol's really fucking powerful. I should kind of, I think, more be, be more conservative with it. And by conservative, I mean shoot him anyways. Yeah, we're really good at this. We have a lot of, like, turtles. I love turtles. Teenage Mutant. Ninja Turtles. Alright, and we have another plant here. Yeah, he's just gonna be stacking all that together. I mean, he's gonna throw bombs too. Oh, so we have a locked thing right here. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? That fucking damaged us? Asshole? I got an achievement for that, though. Alright. Now... Oh, there- Oh, no, we have lockpicks, don't we? Yes. And we have a travel mask, which is light armor. Uh, so this would give us negative uh, evasion if we didn't have a light armor proficiency. Luckily, we do with this person. So it's a good thing we did this. Uh, so you can have that. So this gives us a lot of energy and protection. Uh, I got everything here, didn't I? Okay. And we also have another, uh, we have another potion of juice. 
So I'm just going to show you the rusting mechanic. I can press R and then everyone's health goes back up. However, it takes time, which means that people get more hungry. Obviously, so, you know. You know, I'm kind of proud of myself because I've actually been figuring a lot, of this, a lot more of this out than I thought I would be. So, uh, kudos to myself for being not the scrub lord that I thought I would be. Alright, so, that closed. Like, I, there's no way of me not going over that. Um... Okay. Let's have a look at this. Well, we've already done that area. Oh, there's a button here. Okay, I think I think I know what the solution is. If we already have it down, then it can't complain. It will let us pass. I really like the firearms, by the way. I, I should- oh, you know what? I, I- I- oh, I forgot I can have weapon swaps. So, he can just throw rocks half the time. Aha! Fucking Jack Witchell is still carrying around a fucking bone. He's got a massive boner for his- uh, I don't know, I, that's a fucking lame joke. Let's not, let's not, let's never make jokes again, this is now serious. Alright, we have our key now. So Jack could go take that. Uh, I think we're good, so we can actually go into here now. And, oh god, it's a room guarded by zombies. So I can, I can switch these at any point. So, one of these will be, I guess, his missile weapon, and one of them will be, uh... Like, I guess at, I guess at a certain point, he's just gonna do nothing but that. Eat, eat rocks. Alright. So when this guy comes, he will never see it coming. We're gonna throw all we got at him. <laughs> you missed with the rock? Good job. I think that's, you know, I really honestly think that's what I would me meant to do with Kand. I meant to put him into alchemy, but, you know, as I said, it's one, it's one skill point wasted, so it's not a big deal. Alright, we got a Horn of Summoning. Oh, okay, so that would be something we're definitely going to use a little bit later. So let's go back up here, then. And now we are not, I don't want to go back to, well, actually, let's, let's just make sure that we didn't miss anything on the walls. I'm not very good at that. I still think that's like a secret all the time when I see that. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing else. So we have to use the horn of summoning, and I think I know exactly where to use that. This is a uh, place. Oh, we opened that up. Well, you know, I guess it stands to reason that there wouldn't be really be secrets out in the middle of the... Well, like, secrets that you can just push buttons and stuff. Oh, that, that explains where that came from. Let's try the Horn of Summoning, just because I really want to see that in action. Um... Uh-oh. Hello. Uh... Ken, switch your pistol. Oh god, he came out right where, where I was. Okay, so we're fighting a boss. Ah, he poisoned his own guy. Now, Pat's kind of wounded, but I think he'll be okay. He's not very good at dodging, is he? Okay, go, go ahead, go heal up, Pat. You now you can kind of see where the poison immunity comes in handy. Man, Pat's just getting fucking reamed here. Alright, 
And you can see there's, there's a lot of micromanagement involved with all my characters. So you can as you can imagine like having plenty of like spellcasters and stuff. Probably not like one of the better runs you can do with this game. Yeah, oh, okay, so he he really can miss the, the flint lock. Uh, out of energy. So now you can kind of see the flaw with that. I'm not gonna heal Pat anymore, because he basically he's gonna deal with it. Yeah, he's dead. I don't know why he's the one always dying, but whatever. Unfortunately, this means that Pat does not get experience um, for this uh, fight, so whatever. Rip Pat. Or no, well, he gets ex experience for the, the fight, but whatever. Oh, we got a power gem. Radiates lights in all colors of the spectrum. How oh, nice. Well, we'll figure out what that does in a little bit. Uh, let me bring Pat back to life. And, uh... I guess we'll figure out what that does next time, because uh, that's all the time we got for today. Uh, take care, everybody. We're in a summoning. Uh, let's not actually use that again. Bye.